This is McCook's Mr. Bilton, honor to have you here. The old saying goes that there are some people so lazy that you could lock them in a grocery store and they'd still starve to death. Well, a cousin to that mindset are people from village, towns, and cities will say there's nothing to do here. There's nothing to do. Like they think they deserve to be treated above others to be entertained by the world rather than to find ways to entertain yourself. Absolutely. So in the city of McCook, I have heard, I have heard people from all walks of life clear up to, including I heard the mayor one time way back say that there's nothing to do in this town. Why would anybody want to stay here? Why would anybody want to stay here? We're talking about things to do, be it through your hobbies or just to enjoy. Well, I think the first thing a lot of people do, once a week, maybe twice a month, whatever, they will go out and eat. In the city of McCook, we've got a dozen, a good dozen restaurants. And they are some quality food out there if you wanted a night out. Or... Kipling or Arena is one of the blessings this area has, absolutely. The man donated millions of dollars so that we could have this arena. Oh, he had to fight local government to get it in here. But it brings in millions of dollars. I said millions of dollars every year to the city of McCook. And continually, every week, there's something going on right here at Kiplinger Arena. McCook boasts one of the top golf courses in southwest Nebraska. And of course we have a bowling alley here in McCook, Nebraska. An excellent place to unwind and make some noise and get a high score. McCook has an excellent tennis court. In fact, in 1973 when my wife and I got married and moved here to town, we played tennis right here on that court and it's still being used today. And here we have a uh, really nice skate park. I said a nice skate park. And that's what it's all about for the kids. Old men like me, now we ain't gonna try it, but be that as it may, the kids do enjoy this skate park quite a bit. And it's got about every kind of twist and turn you could think of, absolutely. For the young people, that's what they seem to want, and so we gave it to them. If walking is what you like to do, or running, right here, Kelly Park has a walking trail. It goes a long ways. You'll be tuckered out before you get to the end of it. At least you will if you're an old man like me. It's a wonderful playground. You bet. Top-notch quality playground, including the famous rocket that a lot of kids in this area played on when they were small. Well, this is Barnett Park, and what can you say about it? It's a great little fishing hole for kids and handicapped and elderly and those that can't afford to go out to the lake because it's not very user friendly out there anyway. And this is so close within the city limits. There's some pretty good sized fish in there. It's a catch and release. But be that as it may, it's a lot of fun. I said a lot of fun for any size fisherman from the amateur to the pro and of course the the ponds themselves hold a lot of geese and you have a loaf of bread all of a sudden you'll have a hundred friends come eat out of your hand absolutely these geese are tame and fun to see for people of all ages we also have a really nice playground equipment down here we have a couple of volleyball courts down here sand volleyball courts and so barnett park is another place to come, not counting if you want to see some bird life. And you got a camera, an amateur or a pro, and you want to get some good pictures of birds, this would be the place. McCook, Nebraska. If somebody does tell you that there's nothing to do, now you can tell them there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. Never forget, you're not on earth for others to entertain you. Find your own entertainment, whatever it might be. Thank you for your time.